Well, thank you everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I know this is gonna be more than one video because I did not expect as many comments as I've received for my um, video yesterday um, about cheat meal. No, was it cheating? I forget what the name of my video was yesterday. What was the name of my video? Hmm. Oh well. You know what one I was talking about. If it comes to me, I'll let you know. It's just... No, now I gotta look. Now I gotta look, because I, 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 I'm, I'm frustrated with this point. Too funny. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't skip meals. I should have known that. How could I have forgotten that? Anyway, like I said, there were so many responses, and it's going to take more than one video. And hopefully, you can uh, hear your name, hear your name, in this one, and not have to keep checking all my other videos. Uh, the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, the first 15 I'm going to do. I'll do it that way. It's going to be Barbara B., Barbara Basque, Margaret C., Janice W., Ellen, Kara Hamill, Sue W., Ch Chet Paddywhack, W. V. Running Don, Michelle Zerber, Cindy Pope, Nima M7, Donna Pizzolo, and Imar 5D. I-M-A-R-5-D. You're definitely going to be on this video. Okay, let's get started. Um, Barbie told me I should watch N is for Nurse because she had some really, Amy had some really good points. Many people told me to watch Amy. I do watch Amy. I think I did see that video, but I'm going to go back and check it out again because it does make sense. Uh, Barbara Basque is, uh, she's on maintenance and she still um, does the two meals a day because she's, she views it as a lifestyle. And I really do view it as a lifestyle, but I think that I'm just getting bored with my lifestyle as far as eating the same things all the time. So I have to change it up a little bit. Um, Margaret C. said that she only eats two meals a day like me and it works for her. Um, you know, it really was working for me in the past. It really was. I, um, I don't think I necessarily have to eat three meals. I think I'm going to do it just for a week just to kind of throw my body back into... Um, I don't know, some kind of a mode that it's going to understand what's going on with me because um, I really don't understand what's going on with me sometimes. But I do like eating only the two meals, but I think that I've restricted myself too much to, to say you're only eating two meals. I think that some days I might eat two meals, some days I might eat three meals, some days I might eat four small meals. I think I'm not going to concentrate so much on the meals, but just concentrate on eating when I'm hungry and not a vast quantity of food. Um, Janice W. said she watches my videos because we're friends. Yeah, I do feel that way about it. I know that a lot of you I will never meet. But if you ever see me out and about, let me know. If you're ever coming into town, let me know. Bertie and I will come and meet you. Because Bertie's my driver. I don't drive very far. I'm not a very, I don't like to drive. But Bertie said that she's not working and she's available. She'll bring me. And we'll meet you. We will. And she'll go, hello, my friends. And you'll see her too. But, uh, yeah, I do think of you all as my friends. I know you're very much supportive of me, and I appreciate that more than you'll ever know. Uh, Ellen has come up with my monthly theme, Determined De December. And I am determined, and this is going to be my December. So Determined December it will be. And that's what I'm going to be uh, basing my theme on. Uh, Kara Hamill has lost almost 135 pounds, and she focuses on her health, not on the scale. Excellent advice. I couldn't have said it better. I probably have said it in the past, but I haven't heard myself say it because uh, it's very good advice. And, and I so agree with you because that is definitely something I'm going to do. I really, I'm going to focus on my health. Uh, I am all consumed with that scale lately, and I don't know why. I just really don't. It's just a number. It really is just a number. I'm feeling so much better than I have in the past, and I, I just know that my future looks bright so I better wear shades. <laughs> I know, I quote so many movies and songs. It's just, they, they stay in my mind. I'm like an idiot savant, or maybe just an idiot. I don't know. But I, I, do, I do quote movies and songs and books and things like that a lot. Um, Sue W. thinks that maybe I've just hit a plateau. I, you know, I really do think in a way, sometimes people think of a plateau as just staying the same. Um, I think my plateau is just going up and down and up and down and up and down. And... Uh, I, I have to get off of that. I want to get into the flatlands. I'm tired of going down into the valley. <laughs> I just want to stay on the flatlands and stay level for a while 
And maybe that just should be my goal for December. Just try to stay steady, not worry about losing weight. Try not to be so concerned if you gain some weight. Just stop gaining like huge amounts of weight like I have been lately. Um, Chit Chat Patty Wax said she's losing her mojo too. I know that, I know Anita, you've been struggling right along with me. And uh, it's just, um, it's just a hard battle. It really is just a hard battle. And I don't plan on giving up. Although sometimes it sounds like I am. I really truly am not giving up. I get discouraged. And I get disappointed with myself. And uh, sometimes I'm just disillusioned. I really am. But I know the plan works. I know that, you know, I think that a lot of this all for me came about when they decided not to call it Weight Watchers anymore, call it WW. What difference does it make to me whether they call it Weight Watchers or WW or whatever they call it? Uh, I follow the program because it works for me. Uh, I've tried it in the past. and In the past it worked, but I didn't keep my weight off. But I think the plan that they have now, it, it will work for me. I just have to be more focused on myself and my health and not so much what Weight Watchers is doing and just know I'm paying $56 a month. Why am I throwing that away? It's like that commercial when the, I forget which, it's a for insurance where the guy throws his money into the water and he says, I'm going to regret, I regret that already. Well, you know, I regret things too. I mean, that's a lot of times regrets. I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. You're going to hear a lot of quotes from me. I can't help it. I just can't help it. That's just what I do. That was Frank Sinatra, by the way. But actually, I think Paul Anka was the one that wrote the words. Frank Sinatra just sang them. Um, WV Running Down said that I should try smaller meals during the day. I, I really do think that when I feel like I'm really hungry, like I do feel like I'm a little hungry right now. Um, I've been drinking my water. But I think that, you know, it's you know, my water. I, I feel a little thirsty anyhow. I do think that if I um, eat just something small, healthy, and I need to go shopping to get some healthy foods in here. Um, Michelle Zerber said, food for thought. <laughs> and then she went, hello, well. It was funny. Um, she said, at first it's hard to get the three meals in. Uh, I know it's going to be hard for me. I don't have a doubt that it's going to be hard for me. But it's, I, I'm always looking for something that's going to work for me. And... I find things that work for me, and sometimes they only work for a while. But sometimes you just got to readjust. Like when you're driving down the road, sometimes you hit a bumper or a detour, and you got to take a different route. And then you take the different route, but eventually it leads you back to where you were intending to go in the first place. And so I'm just thinking this journey is like I've hit a detour, a major detour right now, and I'm trying to find my way back to the main road. And I'm not going to keep going down this wrong road knowing that it's going the wrong way. I'm going to continually look for the right path to get me back to the right road, get right back on there, and get continue on with my destination. And I have every intention of doing that. Cindy Pope says, mindset is everything. Oh, don't I know it. I just don't have a really good mindset lately. And uh, how your mind thinks is how your body reacts. And, and my mind is just reacting to saying, you know, eat whatever you want, Sandy. You know what, if you want something, go have it. No, I can't do that. I, I think that I think that I'm depriving myself and I'm really not depriving myself. I'm really not. And I think that if I, um, during the week, have a snack or a treat or something during the week instead of waiting for the weekends, my weekends won't be such an abysmal failure like they have been in the past. Uh, Mima M7 says, try to remember your why. When I first joined back in 2016, it was mainly because I wanted my family, my, sis my daughter and my sisters and I, to be on this journey together. We'd all lose weight. We'd all get thin. We'd all get healthy. And it was just passed. Uh, my sister Sue had just passed um, in March and, of that year. And... She had died from complications from diabetes, and I thought, I don't want that. And I, my family has a history of diabetes, and so I thought, I don't want that to happen to me. And so I did start with that intention. Not that I thought I was doing it for me. I thought I was doing it for everybody else. You know, like, I'm only joining because you guys need it way more than me. And then now looking back at videos, and I can see, oh, my gosh, I needed it just as much, if not more, than them. <laughs> And that was my aha moment. And then when they slowly started dropping out and, and not going anymore, I continued to go on. And there, there's been many a time that I've thought, do I really want to continue on or do I just want to stop and let it go? Because um, I'm just, 
I just kind of give up on myself sometimes. And I, I refuse to do that from now on. I'm not giving up on myself. I'm worth the fight. I'm worth this trouble. I'm worth going to all the, um, the expense of the food and the program. And because you know what? It really is cheaper to eat off the dollar menu than to go and buy fruit and vegetables. But the fruit, the fruit and vegetable, even though in the long run it's going to save me money on medical costs. I mean, you get the fast food for you know the dollar menu right now, but it's going to lead to higher cholesterol, higher blood pressure, more weight, more health issues in the future. And in the long run, you know, with Medicare, they don't pay everything. <laughs> And there's so many deductibles and, you know, all of that. So in the long run, it's money well invested. It's like putting money in a 401k. You might not use it right away now, but in the future, it's going to benefit you. So I'm thinking this is my 401k plan, that I'm putting the good foods in me as an investment into my future, that I'm going to have a better future, and I'm going to be able to live off of this body for a long time and not have to scrimp and scave and not scrimp and scave, but... You know what I mean. Like, when you put money aside for your retirement and your 401k, it's like, so you can live a good life and you can have a healthy life. And you're not going to have to worry about money and you're just going to know, well, I put enough money aside that I'm going to live a comfortable life and that's going to work for me. The same thing with the food I'm putting in my body now. I know that it's going to give me a healthier life in the future and so it's, it's well invested. So it's an investment well worth making. I know that makes no sense, but it makes, it makes sense to me. Uh, Donna Pozzola said, figure out why you struggle the most and when you struggle the most and why. I struggle the most on the weekends because I feel like I've deprived myself during the week. I haven't deprived myself, but in my mind, I think I've deprived myself for the week. And, and I know I haven't. I really haven't deprived myself. In a sense, I have, because like if I really wanted the candy bar, then just have the damn, have the candy bar, you know, just have the candy bar. Uh, instead of waiting to the weekend and think, oh, you know, I'm going to go to McDonald's, I'm going to have the breakfast sandwich, I'm going to have this, I'm going to have that. No. If you want it during the week, I'm going to have it. And I'm not going to, and I'm going to figure out why I'm struggling. And IMAR 5D, I think it's IMAR, or it may be L-M-A-R 5D, said she's a new viewer and she has no plans of quitting. Um, no, you're a new viewer. You're a new subscriber. You stay with us, girl, because we're a boy or pal. <laughs> <laughs> whatever with those initials it's kind of hard to tell if it's a man or a woman um but uh i i have no intentions of quitting i i'm struggling i struggle a lot if you've watched me over the years you know i've had very many highs and lows and i try to be honest with this channel i don't try to sugarcoat anything when i struggle i really struggle and um, when i succeed i really succeed so i i just know that uh, it's not going to be an easy easy battle for me. It's not going to be an easy fight, but uh, I'm not a quitter and, I, and I'm not going to quit. I'm just going to, I'm going to stick with it. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care how much money I spend. Um, well, I really do care how much money I spend. The sooner I get to life lifetime, then the more t I can go for free <laughs> and then I'll save more money and it's a better investment. Okay. End of part one. Um, if you weren't mentioned, check out part two because uh you're probably in part two i'll talk to you guys again i guess i'll see you i'll give this video a like uh, leave a comment subscribe and share